in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a powerpoint template to show social media market share percentage and this is how the slide looks when i click the first social media which is the whatsapp market share percentage comes with 25 percent when i click the next social media which is the instagram with 10 percent market share then the facebook with 20 percent market share and then the twitter with 15 the last facebook with 30 percent market share so this is completely editable slide you can change the share percentage you can change the icons you can add more options or delete the options so this is completely editable slide so i have created two more slides where you can see here i've added some uh, uh, this light effect in the center and one more slide or one where i have just added both the sides the light effect here and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 to do this however this can be done in older version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape just click it here shape outline you can make it no outline and then the height and width i'm going to make it as 1.65 you can see here both the height one point height and width 1.65 all right now i'm going to give a 3d look for this so right mouse click go to format shape and go to the effects under effects you can go to the 3d rotation can you see this 3d rotation and from the preset and uh, under parallel i'm going to choose off axis one top so it looks something like this all right and then shape fill i'm going to make it white and shape outline i can make it any color of my choice maybe a green all right and if you want to increase the size you can increase it also the width so I can just go and increase the width. You can see here, maybe three also, all right? Now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D to duplicate and this shape outline, I'm going to make it no outline and shape fill, I'm going to give some gray color and then go to the effects, go to the 3D format. You can see the depth there, just increase the depth, all right? Maybe I'm going to make it 20 all right then bring this white all right and bring to front and place it exactly on top of this all right it looks something like this so i'm just going to make it let me just go to view enable the guide so exactly i want in the center of the screen i'm just going to put it one here hold the control shift key together add one more you can increase also if somewhat a little bit again control shift key together add one more so you can depending on your requirement how many you need you can just add so maybe i am going to select all and move it up here all right and then i'm going to add one more at the bottom i'm just going to select and hold the control shift key together and add it and the bottom one if you want i can just go and increase more depth here if you want otherwise you can keep the same depth all right and then i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate go to format shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give a maybe a red color hold the shift key increase the size a little bit and go to this one here and send this to back so this is kind of a uh, a background effect or the shadow effect i'm going to give and again if you want further you can select all and you can move it up also along with this all right let me just move this also so let me just remove these guidelines all right and then depending on my requirement i can just go and choose any color here the outline maybe i'm going to choose a, a blue here and for this i can choose maybe a purple any color of your choice you can just choose it and this could be i can make it maybe a say orange or whatever all right and then what i'm going to do is depending on my requirement i'm going to choose the icons so there are different uh, ways you can insert the icon if you're using the latest version of powerpoint 
in 2019 onwards from 2019 onwards you have got the icons here okay or i have just uh, downloaded this particular software called this one pitch on you can see here this one pitch on or pitch on all right so here you've got a different icons i'm just going to choose any icon for example i want facebook all right then i'm going to go for the instagram then i want whatsapp i want twitter and i want say youtube all right so all those things has been added so i'm just going to put it one by one you can see here like this and select these icons and then you can just increase the size maybe 0.7 the height and width and again align it properly or you can just align it one by one something like that or you can go to insert icons again depending on your requirement you can just choose the icon from here or i have provided a complete 500 plus icons absolutely free you can just a search and my channel and download that particular file also now for this i'm just going to select all these icons and then i can go to the shadow select the presets and go down and i'm going to choose this one which is perspective upper left and you can increase the distance here all right something like this so this one is done then i want to add some background here okay so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here from here till here make sure that the size is the width is the same as uh, this one 1.65 shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to give some gradient fill here gradient fill by default uh, it will come four stops but uh, i have used a previous one that's the reason it's coming three so you can see here i have used so first of all make it white here one point and make it fully transparent or if you for example if i'm just going to give some different color it looks like this all right so i'm just going to make it white and make it fully transparent all right and second one also it's white a little bit again full make full transparent and here i'm going to select again white but there is a no transparency here so just choose like that and you can see here the direction whichever direction you want you can just choose it and then send this to back all right so we have got uh, something kind this of the design and then depending on your requirement you can add the text or the market percentage so to add the text go to insert text box and i'm going to type for example share and quotation and write a line you can just choose any good color all right and any good font of your choice i'm going to choose helvetica if you want you can just make it bold also and then i'm going to add one more text box where i'm going to put the percentage for example say 15 percent all right and this one i'm going to make it bold i can use maybe arial black bigger font all right and any color of your choice you can just choose it and i'm just going to place it something like this here and then you can add some detailed text at the bottom equals lorem within brackets one this is some uh, latin text it will give i'm just going to make it again right align and give some gray color reduce the font size all right and then i'm just going to place it here something like this and then i'm going to select all of this text and i'm going to place it here press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side and this side i'm going to make it a left align and this also align left so it looks something like this and then this share percentage move it the other side and i'm just going to put it here maybe this one will be say 25 percent and i'm going to change the color maybe green all right so now i'm going to select this Control d to duplicate move it up here then i'm selecting this one Control d this one for this twitter and then last for the youtube control d this text is for youtube all right and then 
whichever percentage you want for example this could be like 20 percent and the color i'm going to choose maybe a, a blue this one i'm going to choose maybe a light blue and this one will be red so depending on the color of the logo also you can just choose it all right so you can see here we have completed the design and if you want to add some basic animation effect you can add the animation effect also so some basic animation effects you can select it for example i'm just going to select the the gray one and go to the animations and i can maybe i can just select a wipe effect so it comes something like this and then i'm going to choose this uh, white all right and for this also i can make it maybe a fade effect or i can make it wipe whatever like fade it comes something like this let me just enable the animation pane and this one i'm going to make it uh, after previous so if i play it comes something like this all right and then this icon either you want you can click on appear or you can add for example basic zoom so it comes something like this this should happen after previous and based on this text i'm just selecting this text add animation more intense effect stretch and i'm going to stretch from right and this should happen for example after previous so let me just show you when i click it comes something like this all right so same thing using the animation painter you can just click on the animation painter and select this one like that you can just copy the rest of the animation